Why can't men be submissive too? Sometimes women see shit before y'all do. Uh, that is a great question, sis. And I want to say this. I think most men cannot be submissive, number one, because their ego, their pride, and their programming tells them that men aren't submissive. Just like, like I was having a conversation with somebody the other day. It wasn't other day, it was months ago. It was in 2021. But bro, it's just like, femininity. I'm a motherfucking man, I ain't femininity. What a nigga got to do with femininity? But a lot of times, like, the connotation that's tied to those words, because a lot of those men don't take the time to even educate themselves on those words. They just see them on things called social media and run with that narrative. They don't even know how to, like, unlearn that situation and relearn it so they could be a better partner. So that's number one. Number two, I feel like men can be submissive, but they're often only going to be submissive with a woman that they genuinely, genuinely trust and they feel secure with. So I know for me, I do have times, and I'm going to be real with y'all, like, if you had to ask me to have this conversation three years ago, I wouldn't have had it. But just because my mental and egotistical programming won't even allow me to be like a man submissive, that shouldn't go in the same sentence. But I got a better understanding on life these days. Not the greatest, but it's better. But I know in the relationship I'm currently in, that is the only relationship that I've, you know, essentially been a submissive man. But that's why I say what I said. When a man feels comfortable, he feels safe, he feels secure, and he feel like, just how y'all be saying ladies, like, well, I want a man that can lead. Shit, he want a woman that can lead. You feel me? So I feel like when he's there and she's there through her actions and her verbiage and she too can lead, like y'all be wanting men to lead, then bro gonna be submissive. You feel me? I, I feel like he'll have no issue with stepping down and getting out the way letting you you know hold a big gun today and hold shit down that's just my personal opinion yeah um not i mean it goes back to the status quo of course the status quo here at least in the states can't speak on any other country just because i was raised here uh well my family's from jamaica as well so that i can speak from that perspective as well but it's supposed to be the guy the guy does everything in the house like the guy does everything from paying the bills, from take care of the whole crib, from fixing everything, and et cetera. So, as I said this on one of the other podcasts, basically now, and shout out to the women who actually are getting in positions that men used to hold down back in the days in the 70s and 80s, but now in the 2000s, the independent women are stepping up and coming up. They are as the directors of companies. They are CEOs. They are entrepreneurs. They are millionaires and etc. So it's hard for a man now to see that and they're like, oh man, I, I can't let this woman outbeat me or outdo me or outman me or whatever the case may be. So that's where that struggle comes from because for years, for centuries, it's been the man doing that. So that's where the switch up in the struggle of I can't be submissive because my homies or my father or my brother is going to feel like I'm weak or I'm soft, whatever it should be. Um, so that plays a huge role of the the man's ego. Um, but I always tell, I always tell men like, hey, you should be able to, whoever you align with, if you're a submissive man, like that's, that's perfectly fine. Like be that. Find a woman who is that more so assertive and type of woman and who likes to be that as well. And y'all will connect. And we'll, at the end of the day, everyone else is irrelevant because y'all not marrying everyone else. You're marrying that one person or you being together with that one person. So everyone else is truly irrelevant. But that's another reason why really the world kind of runs you. Social media runs you because he worried about what social media and the world thinks about you. So now you're maneuvering based off what the world thinks. So, but yeah. You know everything about sports, you know everything about music, talking about what weed is popping, what's designer with this and that, but you don't know shit about yourself. So a lot of you guys are just well-dressed vessels.